Howdy guys, I'm Bubble Fortress and this is Kingdom Quest. So, in today's episode of Kingdom Quest, we are going to be making the villager breeder into a bed and breakfast. Now what that means is we're going to keep the villager breeder inside. Um, like, we're still going to have it, but we're just going to build a bed and breakfast around it. So today we are working inside of Portsfield. And uh, Portsfield is a province in uh, the kingdom of Atlas. And here's the map. Um, and that is the island or town or province, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's the one that we're working on right now. Um, so if you haven't been following my Instagram post, um, I'm hopping from every island. So I'll finish this island, move to another one, move to another one. Or not so much islands, more like, um, parts of the kingdom. And each one will have a specific trade or something that will make it unique from the other provinces, towns, cities, whatever you want to call them. Um, and a... Iron Golem spawned right there. That's, um... That's odd. You good, my guy? Yeah, he's good. Uh, just don't... Don't mind the, um... Your brothers and sisters that are dying in the lava tube over there. Uh, so... Right now, I'm going to update you on uh, most of the things. Because I haven't posted... Um, some of the things I've built. Um rather recently and uh, I just wanted to update you all so uh, there's timestamps in the description and if you want to um, go ahead and skip to where I build it check that out so I've made a map table of Portsfield and um, you know we'll make an atlas for atlas one day I've had a uh, made a cactus farm I've upgraded the blacksmith to have a um, Skyrim blacksmith look to it, which I think is pretty cool. You know, you've got the little grindstone, which is cool. Um, excuse me while I eat my cooked beef. I've added a horse stables, which I think is pretty awesome. It's my own design, which I'm proud to say. I don't really have, not really that great at building. But, um, I've got a bunch of horses here and a bunch of, um, well not a bunch, there's one donkey. Uh, and, um, this is one of the stalls the interior and I love minecraft alloys I really want to make more and um, I just love the way they look and the way they feel when you walk through them so expect more of those soon in more episodes of Kingdom Quest and then up top we have a workspace and then a hayloft with another little workspace a couch to see the view of surrounding areas and uh, I love the way I made that workbench and another little bed. Not another. The only bed in here. And uh, I did name this mule Jesse Pinkman. If you get that, you know, comment down below if you get it. It's cool. If you don't, no worries. Uh, and uh, I guess you can go ahead and comment what, what you think I should name some of these horses. I think that's the only... Oh, and uh, this peony field and uh, lilac field. And I got this idea from Flip, and don't you worry, I will credit every one of the builders, um, or, uh, insp <laughs> I don't know how you would say that. No, the people that inspired me to build it, uh, and I will put signs there, I just, um, haven't done that yet. So I'll do that either after this episode or in the next episode. So, um, expect more crediting with those. All of these, the, the peony field, the fantasy crop tower, all these are cool. So, currently, the, uh, the current build, not currently, um, the build we're going to be working on, the villager breeder, is over there, and I've actually made a zombifier, a villager zombifier, and, um, I'm probably going to move the zombie, but I will keep the way it looks, but, um, don't you worry, I will get rid of that ugly building. I am so sorry I built that. Don't know what I was thinking. I must have been sleepy. Um, but that is where we have a mending villager, mending librarian, 
and a Fletcher that I got down to one stick for one emerald, which is awesome. But I think he's, um, or she, I think she's at 24 sticks for an emerald right now. Huh? An emerald will, will rest. No, she's back down to one stick. So we will go ahead and huh. trade with her. That's huh. awesome. Very nice. Cool, 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 cool. And then we have Ronald M. M's for mending. And he's huh? one emerald, one book for um, mending, huh? which is awesome. And then we have our zombie over here. Zombert 2.0. It's pretty chill. Don't ask um, what happened to Zombert 1.0. We don't speak of him. Um, we have the entrance to the zombie thing over here. It's like a burnt house or like a ruined house. I just thought it'd be cool. You know, against all of the buildings, like, you know, the fully formed buildings. Um, and this is our villager breeder. Which is, um, it's, it's very ugly. I don't know. I should not have used granite. Don't, yeah, don't ask what happened here of creepers, man. They suck. <laughs> um, it is, uh, in full, full force. And I will get names for these. Um, this one is going to be named Momo. Just because he looks like Momo from uh, Avatar. And then these are named. It ain't much, but it's honest work. So, another meme reference. So we're going to go ahead and get the materials for the bed and breakfast. And um, I'll just, uh, you know, let you know how, how it's going midway through. So see you till then. So, I was sitting here thinking with Chungus. You'll probably want to see me building, right? I mean, at least maybe some of you. Right now I'm just collecting materials, but uh, some of you might want to see that too, so uh, I'll just kind of, you know, record while I'm collecting all the materials. I probably won't be talking that much because I'm kind of awkward, but um... Yeah, here's some footage of me collecting materials. Now, I'm kind of just going off of concept art for this bed and breakfast, so it's, it might turn out kind of kind of crappy. Um, just to be honest. Uh, so don't don't get your hopes up, but uh, I hope it does turn out good for the villagers' sake, of course. And that is granite. Okay, so we are just gonna collect some of the um, spruce here too, and then I think I'm just gonna get a bunch of cobblestone and kind of build um, the a rough shape of how I want this to go. So. Just trying to get some saplings. There we go. Don't worry, I will collect this prod. So this uh this tree farm is definitely going to be moving um moving spots because I, you know I, I want to build here. Um I might make it over here uh, across this ridge or um I might make it uh, over the ocean. There's where my nether portal is. Um, there's a little area that I was going to call, well, Netheria, but it was supposed to be a ruined log camp, so we'll work on that next. It might, that could be part of Portsfield, I guess, so I could work on that later. But, um, 
I didn't grab the cobblestone like a moron, so uh, I'll uh, I'll meet you back here with with the cobblestone this time, hopefully. So I decided to take Jesse along for the ride so I can have a little bit of extra storage, um, and also you know, riding in style, of course. Um, so we're gonna park him over here while we are, uh, building. Yeah, don't worry, I have to clean out his inventory anyway, so, oops. Okay. Now that that's said and done, we are going to go ahead and figure out the shape of the bed and breakfast. So, like, looking at the concept art, it's kind of, um, it's definitely fantasy or medieval for sure, but I don't know if I want to go full force on this one or not. So, I think I'm just going to play around with it and kind of have, like, a weird shape. So, I'm thinking if the villagers are going this way... Then we can have the minecart go. Wait, can it go like that? Let's see. Still the dispenses. Yep, okay, cool. So, we can have it going like this and then come out this way. Oh, that, that could be cool. And we can have a little archway here. It goes over here, let me, like this, and it leads into another part of the bed and breakfast. So, th so this could be the bed, and that could be the breakfast, or you know, vice versa. But this would, yeah. Okay, I'll stop talking. Anyway, you get the point of what I'm trying to explain. Hopefully, um, and it could go back here. So, how long would that be? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, have to have odds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We go all the way back here, and then all the way down here. So this would be bed. For sure, so that that'll house. We'll, we'll obviously make it look pretty, and then over here will be the breakfast. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. Sorry, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, eleven should be good, right? That gives me enough space to do that. And the entrance will be could be right here, or yeah, we'll have a pass-through entrance right here, and then a more grand entrance right here so cool all right this will be cool and we can even obviously even this out a little bit have to go down two levels so I can make it yeah I can make this eating area and you have to go down into the kitchen that would be cool and then the bed breakfast I mean the bed will just obviously be the villager breeder we'll just cover it up cool all right so I will get back to you once I figure out um, block palette and um, you know how I want to build this foundation and stuff so I'll get to you then okay so I have come back to you in a awkward situation the skeleton is under the villager roof and the creeper is trying to follow me but I want him to shoot the creeper because I want a disc and that that would be awesome but hopefully he won't blow up my stuff. Yep, there we go. Come on, kill him. OK, 
Okay. Come on. Can I just like drop them tipped arrows? That would be cool. Yeah, come on, just shoot them already. Oh, so close. He keeps um, fizzing out. Like, it. Oh, I bet you didn't even drop the disc. Yep, nope. That's a big oof right there. Okay, well, we will just go ahead and fill this up. And don't you worry, I will fill the bottom one. I'm just filling up to see how much dirt we have. Okay. Excuse me, sir. I am filling in a hole that the creeper you should have killed created. Good, sir. Okay, you know what? We're just going to take some of this dirt. Alright. Alright, come on. That's what I thought. Okay, and we'll take this just to make it look better, you know, more natural. Doesn't look that good. Okay, anyway, um, just, you know, thought I'd get that on camera. Would have been cool to get a disc, but, you know, my luck sucks. Alright guys, we are back and we are at the stables, or right in front of them, and I've got two block pallets, so, um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with this one, because I like how it, because it's, uh, it's like rough into rough instead of rough into smooth, so it looks like it's been aging, so, just thought I'd let you know that, um, that's the block pallet we're going with. Let me know in the comments if you if you would rather see this, because I can use it in another build. So now I just need to figure out what wood tops to use, or if I want to use wood at all. I could just make it all stone, and that would be pretty cool. I don't have that around here. So I'll get back to you with that. Okay, so I was um, getting gathering some cobblestone. Um, for the build, and I did decide to go with all stone um, instead of using wood, and I'll just use wood for the rooftops. But that's beside the point. I forgot to show you something I made for time lapses. I made the freaking Austin Powers time lapse portal. Yeah. So if you want to see more time lapses, I'm definitely going to use this because I mean this is awesome. Like have it spinning and stuff. Just like Austin Powers. Um, if you're too young, um, you don't know what Austin Powers is. Um, I'm sorry. But, <laughs> um, yeah. Comment down below if you want to see a time lapse or two. I would definitely use this because it's awesome. But, uh, I forgot I had it. So, we'll, we'll definitely use that in the future if I, uh, do time lapses. For sure. Okay, so back at the site of the bed and breakfast and my idea going into this is um if you ever see the pictures of if pictures of scottish castles and how they're kind of like ruined um i don't want it to look ruined but the way the windows are how they're just carved out of there and the way it like kind of looks abandoned i want this to kind of look ancient or not abandoned um and ruined but more it's been here forever and it's been turned into many things. So I hope I can accomplish that <laughs> vibe, I guess. I don't know. Um, through building it in this kind of gradient. And um, yeah, I'm, I have to get rid of this. It's, it's rather annoying. I'll just collect two buckets and uh, be gone. Um, anyway, you get my point. Um, Anyway, I just thought I'd tell you my, my thought process. And um, we, 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 we will be making a path there so the cobblestone is okay. Um, but I hope this turns out cool. For sure. 
and up through here, how it kind it gets lower. Um, obviously, I need to make this being dumb here. Um, I'm gonna have it. It'll be more deep slate down here, maybe, or I don't know. I'll, I'll work it out. I'll, I'll get back to you when I've, you know, stop procrastinating and actually start building this. Alright guys, um, I know this looked really ugly right now and the deep slate roof is not going to stay, it's just to map out where the roof is and um, actually could not get an idea for the roof. So I'm just going to go grab some wood after I sleep and um, figure that out because actually I'm going to go over here to the villager breeder. I somehow let a villager, like they, they bred and they made a baby villager and it grew as a completely missed that shot. It grew and it is somehow inside of the capsule where the villagers are. And um, I've got to get him out. So that's another librarian though. He's somehow connected to the, the uh, lectern. It was inside of the building. So I've got to figure out how to do that. But I'll do that later. And right now I'm just focusing on this. Uh, on the breakfast part. And, um, I'm debating whether or not to make this, like, a little cottage, kinda. And just have, like, a walkway that goes into the top. So, like, th there'll be, like, a little, I can make a little, um, whatchamacallit. What are they called? Spiral staircase. There we go. Um, or a ladder, and it goes up to the top, and there'll be, like, a little breezeway that'll go through and the eating area will be up top and then you come down here to another little small eating area and then the kitchen will be back here so I think that'll be a cool um, way to map it out because if you look at it it's kind of, it is kind of small but the kitchen doesn't have to be that big so I will go get the wood while we while I'm talking my head off I'll leave, I'll leave the fence here. But we can go ahead and stack some. That's an, a great bow for that freaking skeleton to drop. Bro. I'll give the pants to Zombert 2.0 whenever I go back in there. So, it's on Jesse right now. Um. I don't know how, why I'm having so much trouble trying to figure this out. I'm just kind of scared of the build becoming, or being ugly. Because you can't see it right here. I do want it to look good. Um, I just kind of suck at building, so. That's a, it's a big oof. A really big oof. And I probably will run out of inventory space. Let's be honest. I really do need to go to the end. Just kind of sketchy because the nether's really laggy. So, don't want to push my luck. Uh, spruce wood slabs gonna take any slat spruce stuff and um yeah we, we can leave leave that and we'll go ahead actually you know what we're gonna bring a chest or two just in case but I have extra which will be a it's, it's a very high possibility I have extra materials because I somehow do okay so, I will meet you back at the bed and breakfast, or soon to be bed and breakfast. Okay, guys, so um, I went ahead and I did figure out a roof line. So, there, there's, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and hop on the scaffolding because I'll be also put a door in. Sorry, sidetrack. There's the roof line, and it'll stop right there, and that's where the, um, uh, this part of the build will. Um, begin and I will section it off right above where the kitchen is that way I can have a chimney that goes out the top so maybe that'll be cool if it doesn't work out I can always just tear it down and um, find something else that'll work so I'm just getting rid of the deep slate outline that I had because it uh, was pretty pretty hideous um, and actually I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it on here so that way. Oh, 
Oops. Alright, I cannot place stairs apparently. Oh my goodness, I am an idiot. It needs to go like this. Here we go. That's how dumb I am. I really do suck at this building. And that was a slab. Good grief. Okay, you know what? I apparently cannot build. And I will just cut to you, or get back to you, when I have reassessed my, um, my life choices. Okay, guys, so I figured out um, the roof design, and I don't know if I'm going to go all spruce. Um, I might get another wood type, but I'm kind of just filling it in just to see what it would look like if it was all spruce. And let me take care of this bee eider. Arachnus deficus. And, um, we're gonna go ahead and sleep, of course. After I kill the googlies, the baddies. Um. But. I'm just gonna play around with um, the wood types for roof, roofs and stuff because I don't know it's just I think it's kind of weird is it all spruce I think it needs um, some more um, color because like all one color it kind of looks weird I mean that might be your thing but to me it's just kind of off for, for the especially for this build so um, with with a gradient going up yeah so I might change the block type that's in the middle there. Might make it copper. That could be cool. Yeah, that would be. I think that would be cool. The only other copper roof I have is the blacksmith, and that that's not lined with spruce. So, or, I don't think it is. I don't. Want, geez, I can't even remember my own builds. Okay, so um, I'll go. Ooh, creeper. Um, I'll go ahead and figure that out. And dang it, he's about to die. Come on, skeleton. Skeleton for the win! Oh, That was my bad. Alright. Well, I'll get back to you once, um... I guess once I finish that part of the roof and figure out what, what I want to do with, um, the main area. Oh! Before I do sign off, I did make an entrance for the breezeway or walkway. I don't know, actually, how, what you call these just been calling it breezeway because I thought that's what it was but um so I think I'm gonna make it a ladder and it'll like so what I should do is make this come over a little bit I can always shift this over yeah, I'll figure it out I'll, I'll get back to you when I have figured it out Quick update, um, I just slept, we, we hit, uh, day 500, so, that's awesome, and I've, I've only died four times in 500 days, so that's cool, um, <laughs> obviously can't compare to people in hardcore, but, um, this is what I've got for the bed part, bed and breakfast. And I'm thinking about shrinking it because it's going to be a little wide. And I kind of wanted it to be like kind of skinny and small. Um, and I have two blocks over here. So maybe... Yeah, I could shift it over two blocks. So I think I'm going to do that. But um, this is what we have. Hang on. Just get on top of the scaffolding. There we go. And I'm going to have a little like probably three or four blocks high um overhang and then a pointy roof is like little the like a viking horn like I did over there hang on don't have my spy class like I did over there and it's not loading yet there we go like I did over there with the barn or stables sorry and um I think it'll look pretty cool with this which will be kind of rounded so it makes it look like this was a barn and this was some sort of outpost, and they've been transformed, so that'll be cool. Really rain? Anyway, um, I'll get back to you when um, I've figured that part out. Alright guys, so um, 
back again. Um, still haven't worked on this part, but um, this video is kind of getting long, so I will make um, the cuts a little bit longer uh, in space. Anyway, uh, I have this little band going up on the tuff on the top. I think that'll look pretty cool with the walkway coming into the uh, roof there. And I'm thinking I just go with a spruce roof and um, maybe even lawn with uh, deep slate because that might look good with the dark. Um, but over here I still have not decided what to do in the center. Um, I think I am going to go with the copper though. And unfortunately I did not bring my stone cutter so I'm going to have to go back to my house and get that. But, um, okay, so this will be, this will be the last cut, um, hopefully, and, um, unless I find something really cool. So, okay. Hey guys, we're back, and I just finished it, and I just, um, put all the stuff up for the bed and breakfast, so let's head on over there. I'm kind of not, um, too happy with it, but... It's definitely not one of my best builds, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Um, so there it is. The uh, bed bre the bed part actually turned out bigger than the breakfast part, so that's kind of funny. But um, we're gonna go ahead and leave Jesse out here. We can start with the uh, breakfast, which leads in right into the kitchen. We have cakes coming out with a uh, icing bag and um, the bell to ring for. Um, service and for the waiters to come back down to get the um, food items, in this case cake. Then we have another little table here and then you go up the spiral staircase and you have little um, tables with a couch and um, there's a little railing to keep you from falling off into the tower and there's a secret little bell up here. And then we have this little walkway here with um, another spiral staircase down into the bottom. We'll go down there in just a second. But up here, I didn't really do much for the floor because I wanted to keep it open for the villager reasons. This really isn't going to be, this is basically just to cover up this granite monster. <laughs> um, but I did a uh, white, uh, white stain, wait, hang on, stained glass panes. Wait, white stained glass panes, there we go and uh, regular glass plane panes to give it a cool effect and I really uh, originally got that idea from Dallas Med 65 so go check him out he's an awesome bedrock minecraft bedrock youtuber and down here I kept the grass floor because uh, I didn't really want to mess with it too much kind of scared of uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge klutz so I'll probably mess this up somehow but um, these are just to keep the um, zombies from hitting the door because I am on hard mode not hardcore because that's a Java thing but uh, hard mode so my villagers will turn into zombies guaranteed they won't die anyway uh, I think that's it actually oh I made another little alleyway here I mean it had to be done obviously and also use brown banners as curtains and I think they look pretty cool so not not an amazing build, but um, I mean I think it's pretty cool. I like the way it turned out. I probably could have done better, but um, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it because I'll, I'll I'll nitpick at it and uh, I'll never stop. So I'll just leave it there. But we're definitely getting rid of that. I don't know what you call it. It's disgusting. We're, we're gonna get rid of that as soon as I can move those villagers over. Which might be next episode. I don't know. We will see. So, I think that's it for this episode. For sure, for sure. Pretty sure. Alright guys, thank you for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, um, comment down below, um, if you didn't, <laughs> to make, like, so I can improve and stuff, I'll take all the criticism, and, uh, thank you for clicking on this video, 
And if you would like to see more theme quests, just uh, make sure to either like the video or check out my channel. Obviously, this is episode one, so there wouldn't be too much more. But anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, stay bubbly. Thank you.